And uh, then I'll finish with one. Well, hey, uh, first, thanks for everybody tuning in. Great show. Great show, Wayne Hutch, as always. Uh, t- two last thoughts. Had mentioned earlier we had dinner with a friend uh, last night, and it was funny. She's an older gal, and she's like, where do I get my news? And I said, well, just go read it like the actual government reports. We were talking about the hiring reports. I'm like, you ran a clinic. You can dissect this report. Just go read it, and you'll see what the news reporting is wrong. She didn't realize how much information is actually available. And then it just gets, nobody takes time to go read it and gets regurgitated. So kind of interesting thought when you guys think like, oh, how did you form that opinion? We actually go read the stuff about the stuff. Um, And that's available to every American citizen. So we don't read what Jake Tapper says about it. We actually try to, or we find smart people like Turley who, who write about it. And the second thing, just to give everybody kind of a precursor, uh, biggest story of the next 10 days is going to be the weather. Uh, the weather, cold fronts hitting up in New York, which is why they're putting the kids in the schools, and it's going to get worse. Iowa, I keep saying, MAGA turnout's going to be huge in Iowa. Right now they're saying it might be like super freaking cold on Monday. So buckle up, get your snowmobile suits. But you're going to see as this cold wave snaps into all these spots they've sent migrants and when you see see what it happens on the iowa caucus like just weather is going to be a big and then of course we'll hear the climate change and how we need to get rid of cows so that they we don't get a cold (laughs) front but but anyways yeah it's going to be it's going to be an exciting next week or two with some of the outcomes of that so over to hutch all right uh shirley turn it over to god if it gets too heavy uh we're going to be okay uh, whatever happens, it's going to happen and get some help. Say a prayer. Uh, there was a, a woman, her name's Jaya Powell. I'm sure you've seen her in Congress. Yes, sir. Uh, how, how we'll leave. I get it. I get it. I get it. You got it. No, I get it. I know exactly where you're going. Cause that's okay. how I'll leave I, that alone. I, and I'll just say everybody have a, we'll catch you tomorrow. Um, and it's been fun. I, I'm glad you're listening and watching. Yeah, that might be the best final thought we can <laughs> offer. This is um <laughs> Representative Jaya Powell. What the hell kind of name is that? <laughs> All right. So you want to lead into it real quick? Or yeah, there was a hearing and uh this radical Democrat congresswoman uh was talking about Trump getting uh, inciting a sur- insurrection and things like that, but she uh Kind of jumbled it up a little bit. Let's appreciate the passion from my friend across the aisle and the outrage. I think we're all outraged about many things. But if we're going to talk about outrageous things that have happened or things that have never happened, let's talk about the fact that President Trump incited an erection. Uh, and <laughs> maybe that, too. <laughs> yeah, you could talk about that, too, I guess. Maybe we should talk about that, too. The president incited an insurrection. Oh my god! I can't stand that woman. I can't either. She I never can't. saw one of those. And, and what's funny too is that wasn't even a hearing about January sixth. Why are we bringing <laughs> this up? You know what I mean? It's like all they got. It's their election strategy. It's all they got, right? Yep. Those talking points. Those talking. Look, it, it's on a sheet on a desk outside the door before they walk in. All they need to do is pick up their sheet with their name on it, That's and it. Then, they're talking points right there. Again, you were watching the Wayne Dupree podcast. Yes, you know what? We've been doing this for going on 13 years now. Um, I really can't believe that we are able to do this. And um, I, I, I really have to give honor to God for allowing us to do it because without him, we wouldn't even be here. We were talking about this earlier. It's like we're here for a purpose. And one thing, one thing that we can promise you that we won't get on here and lie to you. We will not do that because your time is precious and so is ours. We're not going to get on here and waste your time. We're here. We're trying to inform, educate, and motivate, especially the young people. We honestly, we really want the young people to get involved in politics. We really do. The country's yours. The country's going to be yours soon. We really want you all to be involved, but you have to look at the mistakes that our grandparents made, our parents made, and we made and fix and 
and work on that to fix it. You know, Hutch, Hutch talked about going to God. Jason talks about um, 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 religion here and there. We can't forget that this country was founded on religion, even though many people in government are trying to trying to make us forget it. This country was founded on religion, or the um, the, the colonies <laughs> were founded on religion. I say it like I say it like that. Um, you you start throwing God away. What do you have? You have what you have right now. Think about. Um, pulling God back into the mix. Think about putting him for, and, and, and also there's nothing wrong with praying. Believe me, there's nothing wrong with praying and we pray all the time. We pray all the time. So, I mean, can I uh, add something real quick to that? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. When you're looking at our mistakes, remember the left, the left is walking around a, a bunch of people that hate themselves, hate their country, hate everything we stand for. When you look at our mistakes, also please acknowledge the successes. This is a great country that's done great things, exactly. along with mistakes. Exactly. Greatest country in the history of mankind. Exactly. And we don't get to a certain place without those mistakes. Or without okay. God. Or without God. So if you disappear those mistakes and you disappear God, like I like many people know, you're go you're going to go through those things again. Yep. You know, but it, I mean, and you don't have a blueprint or instructions on how to get out of it. You know, and 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 right now, I find where we are right now, I find us treading, watering, or treading, or or just in quicksand. That's where I think this country is right now. It's just stuck. Yeah, we were being pulled out in 2016. We were being pulled out. We we're Finally, had somebody that really that we probably could look at and say he really he really does love the country. This guy's really going to pull us up, and he's going to pull everybody up that wants to jump on that train. He's pulling everybody up. Come on, come on, let's go. And they got rid of him. They got rid of him because they wanted us back in the quicksand. So keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on praying. Keep on, um, keep on trusting in God, and you can trust this show. That, that's that's one of the main things that I wanted to get across. You can trust this show. Um, I'm Wayne. Uh, that's Hutch. That's Jr. Those are our final thoughts. Y'all have a great evening.